Nung ako'y mayor, pinakitaan ako ng evidence ng pedeya. Doon sa listahan, nandoon yung pangalan mo. Ayaw kong sabihin yan kasi magkaibigan tayo. Kung hindi magkaibigan, magkakilala. Eh, ikaw eh. Pumapasok kayo ng alanganin. Mr. President, baka susunod ka sa dinaanan ng tatay mo. Diyan ako takot. Ayaw ko mangyari sa iyo yan. Mabor lang ako namang nagmamakaawa kasi it will divide the nation at mamadugo itong panahon na ito. What do you say about po sa statement ni President uh, Duterte last night sa drugs, sa People's Initiative? And then urging you to, to resign. To resign po. Mm -hmm. I think it's the fentanyl. Uh, fentanyl is the strongest painkiller that you can buy. It is highly addictive and it has a very serious uh, side effects. And PRRD has been taking the drug for a very long time now. When was the last time he, he told us that he was taking fentanyl? Well, five, six years ago. Something like that. After five, six years, it has to affect him. Kaya alagay ko kaya nakakaganyan. So you know, I I I I hope his doctors take better care of him. Hindi siya pinabaw, hindi pinababayaan na itong mga nagiging problema. But sir, can you categorically deny that you're involved in drugs? Para matapos ng okay na tayo. Thank you. 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 Grabe na talaga yung nangyayari sa politics sa Pilipinas. At for somebody na hindi binoto yung either one of these two political dynasties, I'm just enjoying the fireworks from the sidelines. Okay, so ano ba nangyayari ngayon? At pag-usapan nga natin kung ano yung mga pwede mangyari moving forward and what should we take out of these things that are happening. Unang-una, nagbitaw ng mga Duterte with Baste firing the first shot by telling Marcos directly that he should resign. Then si former President Duterte naman ay nagsabi din na si Marcos is on the drug list daw. Na kaibigan lang daw niya o kakilala niya kaya hindi daw niya sinali sa drug list. You know, that's incriminating evidence against Duterte for saying that more than it is for Marcos. Because if it's true that Marcos was on that list tapos tinanggal ni Duterte yung pangalan niya to protect him, then that shows you na si Duterte ay namimili with his drug war na hindi pantay-pantay ang hustisya. Yun ang problema sa kanyang statement. Kaya kung sinusuporta mo si Duterte, pakinggan mo yung mga sinasabi niya at ano ba ibig sabihin niyan kung talagang fair ba yun and just. Tingin mo ba talaga ang mga pinatay ay lahat masasama o hindi kaya baka kalaban lang ni Duterte? At yung mga kaibigan niya na totoong mga drug lord na mismo sinasabi nga ng mga tao, drug lord yung for example si Peter Lim ay hindi nahuli at nakawala pa dahil kaibigan ni Duterte. Siya na mismo nagsabi na pumipili siya eh. With the accusation against Marcos, I don't know if it's true or not, but from what it seems like, it indicates that it could possibly be true. At idadagdag ko lang pala no, na interesting sa akin at si Amy Marcos is siding with Duterte. I won't ko lang what's playing out underneath all of this. Ngayon, on the side of Marcos naman, nagbitaw na rin nagsalita si Marcos directly. Pero si Marcos naman was more measured. Kung si Duterte was unhinged, si Marcos was more measured in his approach. Nasabi niya na naaawa daw siya kay Duterte kasi alam naman natin pag nagfe-fentanil ang tao. And Duterte did admit to taking fentanil. And if you guys don't know the effect of fentanil, it's a pretty bad drug and it's very addictive. At sinasabi niya na dapat inaalagaan daw siya ng doktor. Nakakatawa yung patama niya na pero padaplis ba eh. Pero nakikita mo na the gloves are off at yung banata nila ngayon is harap-harapan na. 
Now, what will happen moving forward? I think the problem with Duterte is because he's unhinged. Parang he has nothing to lose at this point. Now, in the case of Marcos, he is the incumbent president. Honestly, if I were Duterte, mag-iingat ako ng konti because remember, you have the sitting president right now you're attacking. Some of the things he's saying is borderline. And Marcos can use a lot of that against Duterte. Remember that the ICC is now knocking at the doorsteps. And by Duterte challenging Marcos' authority, that gives Marcos more reason to allow the ICC to enter the Philippines. Siguro between the two of them, if I had to choose, ano? Titignan ko na lang siguro kung ano ba yung presidency ni Duterte versus ano ba yung presidency ni Marcos. Okay, Marcos has only been in power for just under two years. So, hindi pa natin masabi kung how effective or ineffective he is. But there are signs that medyo may mga palpak na siya nagawa. Pero kumpara natin kay Duterte na in the six years he's been in power, the corruption has been on a different scale. So in terms of corruption, parang mas malalaki si Duterte because ang dami niya mga cronies na naging billionaire na pinabor niya at maraming killings yung time na yun. And if you remember formally, sina... Uh, yung economic advisor niya, si Yang, tapos nag pa siya ng 7 trillion pesos during his presidency that actually caused the inflation that we have now. Uh, next, tatanungin mo sarili mo kanina mo gustong mag-side sa China o sa US. Marcos is favoring the United States, Duterte is favoring China. Dahil kay Duterte, nakikita mo na pa paano ng China kinukuha yung ating mga territories. Si Marcos naman, dinedefend yung ating mga territory. So, you have to ask yourself, ano, asan ba yung iyong loyalty? And when you talk about loyalties, whether you're a BBM supporter or a Duterte, you have to ask yourself first, ano ba yung mas importante? Yung loyalty mo sa kandidato mo? Or sa politiko mo? Or yung loyalty mo para sa yung bansa? Para sa akin, I think Marcos is more interested in making the Philippines prosperous. Because... I think gusto niya mag-leave ng legacy eh, to try to clean up the name of the Marcoses. And I think that's why Marcos makes a lot of better decisions compared to Duterte. Now, Duterte naman, in my opinion, comes across as unhinged. At yung mga binato sa kanilang dalawa is that sinasabi na lazy daw si Marcos at sinasabi naman si Duterte crazy. So you have to ask yourself which one do you prefer? Crazy or lazy? Yun na lang yun eh. Ako, I prefer lazy than crazy. Because alam mo ba that at the end of the day, Anyone can be president. Basta tumatakbo yung gobyerno under that person, it'll work. Kahit na walang gawin yung presidente, okay na yun. Ang problema, when you have a president that's insane, they can do a lot of damage. And Duterte did a lot of damage in the last six years that he was president. But one thing na masasabi ko, no? For an outsider looking in, this is quite entertaining. And honestly, let's see how it plays out in the next four years and in the next presidential election. At least we have a sane person running the government unlike the insane one that ran the government in the previous administration. Kayo, sino-sino support nyo? Si Duterte o si Marcos or neither one? At bakit? I'd love to hear from all of you. At the end of the day, lahat tayo spectators ang naman dito eh. And we can all give our opinions, we can be right or wrong, but there's a lot of things happening na hindi natin alam. And let's just hope na hindi maging collateral damage ang Pilipinas at ang mga Pilipino sa laban ng dalawang political dynasty na to. At yan ang katotohanan.